But this is this is basically we say uh, a, a regular porcidia. We don't. I don't have any kind of understanding for the stuff like this. This is, you know. I think it's better for Mr. Pope to just stay where he is because nobody wants to, um, you know, waste time with his trip to anywhere. He's just uh, inconvenient, as I have written today. Uh, totally inconvenient for Eastern Europeans to have him around. Not only him, but uh, Vatican as well. This is not, this is not a pope. This is not organization. This is not uh, anything that we Eastern Europeans should see ourselves in. We don't. There's no need for for the stuff like this. Yeah, uh, Kirill who incites in religious war against Ukraine, in a crusade, literally in a crusade of Ukraine, uh, he used to be a KGB agent, literally served as a KGB agent. It's someone that uh, Vatican Pope Francis refused. To separate itself from. That's not a good stuff. Yet this is the kind of stuff I, when considering the people involved, and one of the people was Pope Francis, Vatican was involved in this. Not only Hollywood politicians and royalties, they, when I say they, I'm talking about the West demanded myself for me to see myself in I'm not going to say to seek salvation but to obtain proof to glorify these people to basically to praise them to celebrate them because you're talking about the stars you're talking about to so basically see myself in so that they could save me, so that I would obtain proofs that I'm not insane. So that people, my people, Eastern European people, against whom war took even place, it's Ukraine today, could, t could see themselves through me, my salvation, therefore, in the West. That's who. So that's not, uh, that's not, that's not a desirable option um, from any perspective. Pope Francis, I'm just going to say, I don't take any word, and I was really harsh on one, I have condemned one. Um, he was involved in torture, and today it, it's becoming clear why this man was involved in torture, what exactly powered him. His ambitions uh, undeniably are clear in the face of the world. In the middle of the massacre, this guy, and it's not why I posted this stuff, but really wants to play some kind of Madonna. Um, intermediate between Russians and Ukrainians. Even that we know that Ukrainians 
are a Russian casualty for the last hundred years. A Holodomor, if you remember Holodomor. It's how Ukrainian state was reduced into 50% just prior to 2014. This used to be twice as big country as it was prior to 2014, talking about Ukraine. And through Holodomor, through starvation, through mass killings that the Soviet Union imposed on Ukrainian people, they have reduced them on half of the 2014 Crimea, Donetsk occupation. We have another reduction, another theft, land theft, as South Africans so well aware, white South Africans, in a country that never belonged to them, on a continent, black continent, are so aware of, but totally discerning, disrespective, when it comes to our lands with which they would like to trade, their global appetites. So that kind of stuff, that's like really, really um, disgusting, you know in the middle of the massacre a Madonna would like to intermediate between the one that caused and is causing massacre for the last hundred years and the one that is massacred, butchered. He did not condemn Patriarch Kirill KGB uniformed, KGB criminal that calls upon a massacre of Ukrainian nation. He have not even accomplished that task. And, you know, we are past 50 days of war in Ukraine. So there is nothing really other left for me to do, despite he imposing so... Uh, Touching, Chustveno, like we say in Slovenian language, next to this children, other than to condemn one and his Vatican organization as well. I hope the Eastern Europeans, Poles, Czechs, Slovaks, Slovenians, Croats, Of course, Ukrainians, which already did, separated themselves from Patriarch Kirill. Therefore, Vladimir Putin is personal priest, antichrist. Uh, Bulgarians, therefore, all Eastern Slavic people. I hope sincerely that Romanians do on board. Hungarians. Greeks, Orthodox and Roman Catholic, therefore, will found our own autonomous church. I don't think that we are either part of the Vatican or definitely Moscow. We don't belong to this. Uh, there's nothing else for me to do other than to give you a little bit of idea. Today is April the 15th, 2022. It's, I think, 51st day of this war on people of Ukraine. I don't think there is anything else, anything other for me to do than to just document
you know, that's how it all started on March 18. He gave the right to, you know, he gave the right, like, fuck, excuse me. Vatican, Pope Francis, Buckingham Palace, excuse me, please, for my being so impolite, vulgar. To defend themselves, bear lives, imagine this. Who is in an individual that gives you the right to defend yourself from someone who is trying to kill you, who is going after you for your bare life. Who is the one? As you call a nobody and nothing, a Satan, because it's no other than God who brought you to this world. And it's one of those unquestionable issues that pertain to every individual in this world. It's an attempt to rob God to state that people have the right to defend themselves, especially people like Ukrainians, as I stated through Holodomor. War that lasted against them for a hundred years. Nobody has a right to step in the shoes of God. Nobody. You can even condemn an F word from someone you have hurt, you have damaged, you ruined life too, like you did to me. I lost 28 years of life because of you. That's okay. You can condemn in my F words for your proper etiquette, language rules. But nobody has the right to step in the shoes of God and present himself as such to the world. Not even Vatican, I should say Pope Francis in Vatican. Nobody. God gave the people of, the, of Ukraine the right to defend themselves, to defend their right to existence, gave them the right to exist, defend their existence with anything that is available to a human being in this world. That's a brazen act. I just want to I just want to, this to be documented, basically, because I'm not going back. I, I made up my mind. I, I try to, uh, you know, I try to see it his way somehow, some way. But uh, I realized that uh, he is not capable to condemn someone because that someone wears the same uniform as he does. Even if that someone calls on a massacre of Ukrainian people, even if that someone incites in holy war, in crusade against Ukrainian people, he is not capable, in eyes of God, he is not capable to condemn anyone. He contemplates on mediation instead. That's a scene. That's a scene after scene. This man, his hands covered with the blood. These are the actions that speak louder even for what he attempted to resolve in respect to the church and pedoph pedophilia. Very serious questions.
And when you consider the last news that I posted on here, have to reload this sorry ban Ukrainian ban on Moscow's patriarchate in Ukraine nothing other comes to mind than to log along this movie a date and time well 